All right, here's the first leg of uh, the trip to FinCon. My Uber driver, AKA UberX. <laughs> UberX, AKA my son. Getting ready, going to the airport. I'm gonna get dropped off and uh, gonna go to uh, Dallas, Texas and hang out with some TASers. So pretty pumped up. We'll see you there. All right, just got through security. Things went pretty good. A little jammed up, to be honest with you. Now we're gonna head to uh, B12. So, uh, wish me luck that everything's gonna be on time. That's what you never know about travel, is, uh, is it going to be on time? about two minutes. We'll see how this goes. the room. Let's see what we find here. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait a minute. No, here it is. 323. Right, so we made it to the room, made it through the flight. Everything was pretty cool. The room is, it's okay. It's not anything super fancy. Actually, they had to give me a, um, uh, a room that was available right now and tomorrow if I wanted it to get my normal room, I could, but it's totally booked and filled. But that stuff happens, so I'm gonna be okay. I mean, we still got we still got some nice water over here. I mean, this is that fancy water that they that they actually uh, Voss. It's, it's expensive water. It's water. Do you realize we've made water like premier? Like this bottle of water is expensive. Why? It's water. It's been filtered differently, I guess. So drink the better water. I mean, look at the packaging, right? We talk about packaging. Look at, I almost want to put my pinky up when I, when I, when I hold this water. All right, I'm going to go ahead and meet up with Chris Schaefer. So let's go check out what Chris is doing. All right, so now we are in the elevator. <laughs> and look at this elevator. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, man. Look at the horse behind us. It's, 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 it's Dallas. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Dallas. Texas doesn't be. All right, where are we off to? We are going to Americana. Americana? What's in Americana? What is it? Uh, pizza, Italian. Italian. Pizza, Italian. Pizza, Italian. Is, is it gluten free? No. <laughs> it's it not gluten free. Joel's cheating tonight. All right. No, it is. Well we'll see you at the pizza place. I don't think you want Americano. <laughs> that is, this is a place. <laughs> that is very this exciting. Your, this was your choice. Are we doing it over again? We're doing exactly what we did. We've been right where you were. Yeah, okay, hold it. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All in your head. I like that. Took care of the pizza. We forgot to, to do a little vlog here at it. So now we're. Uh oh, Joel's caught on tape. <laughs> yes, this is what. This never is what happened. we're doing now. This never happened. So it never uh, Joel, happened. Joel didn't touch it. Before. After I ate my raw vegetables and I watched them devour three pizzas, they then insisted on dessert, which I have not touched because but that would be that. wrong. Look how beautiful that was. It does look pretty. How can you not? This is fantastic. <laughs> So it's officially the start of the day. Last night was pretty awesome. Got into town a little bit late and um, had some pizza, way too much pizza, some really delicious pizza, but way too much. And, uh, and had some great dessert, way too much again with uh, Chris Schaefer and Joel Bauer. And now today I'm going to be uh, going to FinCon. So I'm planning that day out right now and 
One little tip, if you are going to events, definitely plan out the day if you can. Uh, but let's go take a look out the window here real quick and see what it looks like here in downtown Dallas. Pretty nice view I've got here. Uh, some nice tall buildings right here. And I also, the other thing I really like as being an iPhone, Apple guy, uh, the iPhone X right across the street, big billboard. So they are definitely doing their marketing over there. Already lost. Only took, uh, uh, I think, about well, let's see, five, ten minutes. Let's see what happens. 2011 at the very first FinCon. So it's kind of cool now that uh, back then, being so scared, actually, I was supposed to do a breakout session about this size, and then PT calls me a couple weeks before. Got a live uh, podcast going on back there, which is pretty cool. So, a lot of cool stuff going on here. So, uh, just gonna keep walking around. I'll I'll show you guys around. All right, we got Convert Kit behind me. You guys know that we're using Convert Kit, so uh, probably say hello to Nathan, who's actually the uh, creator of Convert Kit. So uh, we'll do that next. What do you say? All right, just had a conversation with Nathan Barry, which was pretty awesome, from ConvertKit. Probably gonna do a podcast together now and probably a workshop and uh, learn more about list building because that's what he's all about, so. All right, I just got my, uh, my uniform on, the TAS stuff, because I'm going to a TAS meetup, going to dinner first, and uh, what I am gonna do, though, is I'm gonna bring you inside the TAS meetup. So that's what's next, super excited, so what do you say, let's, uh, let's go. Let's go to the meetup. Come on, let's go. We're, we're finally here. We're at the TAS meetup. What's what's going on? Is, is everybody is everybody yeah. having a good time? Oh, yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome time. Awesome time. Great people Great here. Time. Should uh, should they be here? Oh yeah. <laughs> everybody should be here. <laughs> Still time to get here. We've got people here from Canada. Right. We got lady here from Ukraine. Canada. Ukraine. Yeah. So, all right. I just wanted to check in here and let everyone know that we're having an amazing time here. TAS meetup in Dallas. If you guys are in Dallas sometime and we're here, you need to be here. another day of the event and then uh, we're gonna do some recording some podcast recording and some uh, videos so pretty excited about that so stay tuned all right so this is going to be the office for today which is a pretty nice little area we've got uh, we've got a uh, Nice little banana, some coffee for the breakfast. And uh, we're gonna be uh, actually doing a hot seat here in person with one of our listeners. And then we're gonna be doing some uh, podcast recording. And we're also going to be uh, doing some video stuff. So pretty excited, but this is the office for today, so. Yeah, 
podcast or I listen and it, just like how you talk about, you just have to take action. Yep. I just jumped in the deep end of the pool. What I would say here is, is like, that's probably one of the things I would say is, is on the list, but it's it's down on the list, gotcha. yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I personally would do exactly what we're saying here. I'd spend time to drill into what are those, what are those keywords? Again, maybe set up a campaign like soon. You're going to have, and that you're going to be able to use to really drive traffic um, to wherever you want. There's other things you can do to probably work on that, and I think brand is going to be top for you. Because the more you get out there, the more that you incorporate your story, or maybe recipes, or uh, another way to use this, or whatever, you're gonna be able to get people interested, and then they're gonna wanna buy your product. Because it's, it's the solution to something, or you're making it easier for them to understand. Like you even just, uh, really explaining the process or you explaining what's in it and why that's good makes me say I should probably take a shot at that. Mm -hmm. You know what you see what I'm yeah. saying? Um, so there might be someone like how to get more energy in the morning. I don't know, something as simple as that. And here's our mission. If you support that, awesome, welcome to the family. If not, you go, you know, have a great day. Yeah. Did you have any questions on that? So does that make sense? Yes, it does. <laughs> well it depends. But <laughs> All right, last day. As you can see, I have a hood up. Almost see my breath. And I'm not liking this, but it's the last day. They don't usually get this cold of weather this time of year, but when I come, they do. So we're heading over. We're going to meet with Chris and Joel once again. Got a uh, got a hangout for our class. That's going to be at 11. And then I got to go over and speak at FinCon, and that's gonna be fun. So uh, let's go hang out with Chris and Joel, what do you say? All right, so today this is going to be the office or the shooting area. We're gonna be doing some videos, nice little lobby. Uh, just got done doing a uh, periscope, so that was fun. Just kind of randomly did a little, did a little periscope, a little coffee talk, a little, literally, coffee talk. And uh, wearing my new shirt today too. Create every day from ConvertKit, Nathan Barry. So that was awesome. So uh, all right, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start doing this video stuff. All right, come with me. We're gonna come on into the place where. We are going to be recording today. What's up, Joel? How's it going, man? Well, it's going great. Chris Schaefer. What's going on, kids? So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get, uh, let's get recording some stuff. What do you say? What actually is going to work for people who are selling on Amazon? And that's really what we were trying to go for with that. What's, what's going to be the most for people? And we've had a conversation a couple times this weekend. There's going to be a lot of stuff. You only need to do the thing that you're at right now. And we want to give that to you in a way that is usable. And Amazon allows us to do that. If I had to explain to someone how to set up a distribution center in their garage, I, I mean, that's insane. And plus, it would cost them more. And a lot of people don't get that. It's like FBA is leveraging their shipping empire. Like, they're, they own UPS, you know? Like, <laughs> right. And it's also teaching me the skills that I need to roll that over in e-commerce. Yes, and plug that in wherever you want. I always <clears> love exactly. that. You're building a skill set. When I first started working construction for my father, I didn't even barely know how to read a tape right. measure. <laughs> okay? And I'm not, even, I'm, no. not, I'm not even kidding though. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, that's funny and all, yeah. but I'm, I was, I was kind of nervous. Uh, I had to learn it and I was nervous because to me, I was like, even at, back then, I, wasn't, I didn't feel I was capable yeah. of doing that. And I soon got over that. And then all of a sudden it was nothing. And then all of a sudden, now I'm building homes and I'm tearing people's you know, yeah. houses apart and making them beautiful. And honestly, even looking back at that experience, I was proud at the end of my job. I used to take pictures before and after. Yeah. And I was like, I took that house that looked terrible and I made it really awesome. And they were so proud of it too and they couldn't thank me enough. <laughs> so that was awesome. You know what I mean? So uh, I don't know how we got on that tangent, but no, I guess I, it's kind of like great. relating it back to an asset, a skill set. 
Like literally, like I could go into a house right now, tear it apart, and put it back together, yep. and feel confident in doing that. Or I could tell a crew what they need to do in order to do it, or what the different components are, the different steps. What really, Same thing with business. What I really loved about what you said is like, you took something that was generally simple, and people go, "Oh, that's no big deal." But how big of a deal is it if you mismeasure in building a house? Measure twice. <laughs> well, well, let, let, me just, let, me just, let me just time out real quick. Yeah. My father's partner, and sometimes my father, it happens. <laughs> would measure like a, a doorway or a window wrong yeah. and it's like you know three inches off yeah <laughs> who's got to cut that opening to make it work <laughs> me yeah as, so, as long as it's off on the short side you're fine yeah you can't <laughs> cut that window down to make it fit yeah because you can't cut glass in the window all at the same time it's kind of a complicated process, so, process. but but that comes back to knowing your numbers well, right <laughs> it's the same thing <laughs> it's the same thing in in e-commerce and amazon like all right, well, that is a wrap for the meeting, planning, and uh, Facebook Live, and what else did we do? And, oh, we did some YouTube stuff. Podcast. Podcast. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. So, we'll see you at the next stop. All right, got my big boy clothes on now, my grown-up clothes, so get ready to go speak. Catch you on the inside. But how long did you find like a, a sweet spot in you guys? Um, I mean, I'll jump in there because I am a little bit different on this. Uh, a lot of people, if you kind of go over and it's like everybody wants like the exact number that's going to work, like 60 minutes, no more. And then you have to get into the pitch or 45 minutes and you have to do that. Well, we hired your Facebook guy and he can't believe how long our webinar is and how well it still converts. It's just, if you have the rapport with people, if you give them that information, you keep them wanting more, you're delivering value, um, then it's okay. So I don't, I wouldn't force that. But for us, we're generally, I try to teach no longer than 60 minutes and we full out teach. Like that's the, the other thing. If you're just gonna go on there and just kinda, you know, kinda throw a little bit out there and then be like, if you want all the good stuff, you gotta buy this, then it's not gonna work, at least in my experience. So we deliver 60 minutes of value that if they were to show up and pay 100 bucks, they got $100 value, if they paid, but they don't. And then we go into our you know, 10, 15 minute pitch and we answer live Q&A. So uh, I don't think there's a set thing out there, but I think that you, know, you definitely wanna get to the meat of it and you wanna teach, but then you also need to do those other aspects, which we can talk about later, because there is some components that you wanna do while you're setting things up, especially if you're going to a cold audience or if you're going to a warm audience. Well, to piggyback on something there that he said was uh, making sure that you are teaching some of your best content. Like I, I want for someone to, to, when they leave, feel like that I, I didn't spend anything, but that was totally worth if I had spent something on it. All right, the end of a long day, a long weekend or a week. I'm ready to call the night and uh, go to bed, get the plane, head back home. So far, everything went great. All right, made it back safe and sound, so I'll go get my ride and uh, head home. All right, we finally got home, and we are ready to go eat some home cooking. <laughs> well, it was a great week, busy, tiring, and now we're just going to relax. Right, bro? <laughs> There's no place like home. <laughs>